He's speaking out tonight, all affected by one decision. Their state representative has made the decision to stay in office. That's despite promising she would step down today after serving more than 20 years at the Capitol. Donna Dukes was supposed to resign but changed her mind and was sworn in today. She's accused of misusing funds for personal reasons. Evidence against her will go to a grand jury on January 17th. We wanted to know who will be impacted by Duke's decision. Here's a look at District 46. It's a good chunk of East Austin, Maynard, and parts of Pflugerville. Numbers show from the Capitol that an estimated 166,000 people, more than 60% of households, are family households here in District 46. The number of families living in poverty there is higher in this district compared to the others. KXAN's Leslie Rangel spoke to those living there to get their opinion on Donna Dukes deciding to stay put. I think she's a very excellent representative, and I hope that people at least give her a chance to find out all the facts before they judge her. For some, 20 years of service from Representative Donna Dukes is enough. We grew up in, in, in the, the same East Austin at the same time. Our, our old values are, are, are the same. Others think it's time for change. Depending on your view of things, this is a really rough moment going into this legislative session. It's a rough moment nationally and I think the distractions are a bad thing. Distractions like the accusations against Representative Dukes using public funds for personal use. Worrying about a grand jury, worrying about indictments, worrying about who is going, to, you know, should, should we appoint this person to committees? We're, we're, you know, these sorts of questions shouldn't be what folks have to deal with right now. This East Austin resident says the representative's decision to stay could hurt the bigger picture. The Democrats are already in a position of having to play defense of having to be really well organized, really disciplined in order to stay focused on what's important. But some say let the investigation run its course. She's wanted here in the area. I mean, she's done a, a wonderful job and I see no reason for her to step down. Please don't put the cart before the horse. It's very important. Let, the, let all of the information come out and let's find out exactly what's going on before we prejudge her. Leslie Ringel, KXAN News. Dukes denies any wrongdoing and has hired a Houston law firm to represent her. Dukes won by a large percentage of the vote last November, but a big chunk of her support came from straight ticket Democrats. Here's a look at those numbers. Dukes won by more than 70% of the vote in November. The next closest candidate for House District 46 was Republican Gabriel Nila with just 19% of the vote. But after going through all the precinct reports for this election, we found 67% of her votes came from straight ticket voters. That is slightly more than the state average. A recent study by ACC found 64% of all ballots cast in the November election were from straight ticket voting.